Good afternoon, bloggers of Focus Blog. This will be the last blog that I will make. I feel a bit like the president, you know, giving like a res resignation speech or something like that. But I'm not. I'm here to talk about something more important, about my blog partner, Morgan Porter. Now, as you can see on the post, I have created and built a, a ship inspired by Morgan. Uh, and just speaking about her characteristics and her um, motivations and inspirations, Morgan is a great inspiration to me. Uh, I've never met anyone quite like Morgan uh, who's so very much devoted to what she believes in and her causes. Um, if more people were like Morgan, there'd probably be a lot less to worry about. Um, I feel like Morgan's a very creative and very artistic individual. She reminds me almost of a leaf. Uh, this is Bear with me where I'm going with this. A leaf when it falls from the tree and the wind blows. The leaf is just blown wherever you know the wind takes it. So wherever it kind of goes with the blow, the flow kind of thing, you know. I feel like Morgan's a very easygoing person. Uh, she definitely just kind of goes with it. Um, but she's also, I think she's got a little bit of sass to her, a little bit of spark in there, which I think is always good to have. Um, so I've never had to, I've never witnessed that side of Morgan, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere buried in there. A little bit of, I don't think so. <laughs> but um, she's a great person, a great blog partner to work with. We've had some great ideas, and she's just been phenomenal to work with. So. Thank you, Paulette, for putting this together. Um, to give you a recap, I'm just going down the list here about our pre-Thanksgiving story and the story that Morgan told and how it affected me. Uh, her story was very interesting. It was, I think, it was a very personal story, and she opened up to people that, you know, some folks might have felt a little uncomfortable sharing personal stories like that, but Morgan felt comfortable enough with us to share this story about her father and, you know, the church and just the inner struggles she had growing up, which I could relate to her story. I haven't told her this until now, but I've, when I was growing up, believe it or not, I kind of felt like I was on the outside sometimes. And in church, it was just like, oh, another thing. Oh, they're just being nice because they have to be nice kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I kind of get where she's coming from. Like, growing up, being, especially in high school, oh, my God. You know, it was all right my senior year because I was leaving. But I could relate to where she was coming from with her different kind of things. You know, it was just one of those crazy times. But um, her story really stuck out to me for the way she uh, told her story with using the T-shirts. Um, I think a lot of people were on their seats, like wondering, oh, what's she going to do with these t-shirts? She's taking them off, she's putting them on, what's happening here? Very, very creative and very intriguing way of telling the story. It kept me entertained, and it kept me um, wondering what the next shirt was going to say or where this was going. But it was a great story. Um, like I said, a very personal story about um, just coming to terms with oneself and realizing, you know, that life is not as easy as we want it to be. And there are obstacles along the way. But Morgan has overcome those obstacles, and she's done a terrific job. And she's an old, I think she's a great girl. Um, the semester, we, we kind of debated on this. We interviewed one another about this, and a lot of what made us furious, what made us frustrated, there was nothing really that kind of in the class that did that, you know. It was just one of those things. And then um, 
what challenged or what engaged about the pop culture class kind of thing. Morgan did say at one point that uh, it opened her eyes to different uh, aspects of the social movement. Um, and that uh, it made her more aware of social media in our lives. Um, and also a key person that stood out to Morgan is Ah Weiwei. Yes, I said it right. Ah Weiwei. And the fact that he put himself out there, um, she was explaining to me that most artists tend to stay in their studio, but Ah Weiwei was like, at the scene, you know, into the in his artwork, and you know, was there. I guess was held accountable at the same time. Um, you know, my prediction of the future for my blog buddy Morgan. I feel like Morgan will go on to do something very that that's creative and hands on. I see her possibly in a. Uh, I don't know, more of a big fashion. I feel like Morgan could really go into fashion. I don't know if she is into that or not, but I can kind of see Morgan, a uh, fashion photographer, fashion designer, something along that line. And I think whatever the future holds for Morgan, it will be creative, like creative. And I think she'll have an opportunity to, to express herself. Um, I almost wish that she, I wish her, you know, this is kind of a blessing too, but I do wish her the best in all that she does. And um, I hope that, you know, your dreams will come true. Don't ever stop dreaming because that's what fuels us. And to quote a little cricket, Jimmy, when you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. So um, I don't know the rest of that quote. <laughs> But it was in the moment. So, Morgan, I do want to thank you, uh, and I'll thank you personally, but I'll thank you over the web for being an amazing ball partner, for having amazing ideas, and just being an all-around great sport about when it comes to, you know, if I suggested something, you were like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine, we can do that. So I thank you for that. I wish you the best in life. Um, you know, there's so many cheesy things I could say. Um, there's a lot of cheesy songs. Actually, I wish I had one to play. Like, boom, just press the button to play. But I don't. And so, um, we always do at camp, we sing a song when you're getting ready to say goodbye. And that's leaving on a jet plane. Which is not appropriate, I think, at this point. Okay, we anyhow, I've talked for eight minutes. Morgan, you're a great person. Good job. And best of luck in the future. Stay classy. Thank you, Paulette, for a great class.